In this video we look at more advanced topologies and uh, we look at this graphite modeling to uh, tools in uh, 3D Studio Max with topology and there are also some plugins where you can do uh, really nice tessellations uh, for example this Vorofrag and you can make Voronoi fragmentations with this plugin and we have a brief look at this later on. Okay, like always we start with a quite simple shape and uh, we start with um, a simple uh, box. I delete these box and so this is a starting point. And uh, to work with my uh, topology of my graphite modeling tools I have to add um, a edit poly modifier otherwise it doesn't work. I can go into polygons and then open my generate topology. Okay, here are uh, different kind of procedural um, patterns or topologies. I can uh, choose, um, choose this and I will show you uh, very few things. For example, if I choose uh, these, um, these pattern or these topology, you can already see that it has an impact. But you can also see that it's definitely much better that you have um, a geometry with already uh, a higher um, tessellation, otherwise uh, the whole thing uh, uh, it doesn't work so well or it just uh, reduces to very few uh, fragmentations. So what I do now is I go into my box and I just in uh, increases the segments. Okay, 10, 25 and 10. That's already uh, looks uh, better, especially when I use my uh, the same uh, topology, this uh, edge direction, uh, then you can see that it already uh, gives the same result like my preview uh, here and I think this is uh, a definitely really helpful and handy pattern. What you can see is that it tries to uh, smooth a little bit uh, the edges around the corners, so that's a typical thing in 3D Studio Max that it tries to uh, smooth your objects. If you don't want this, you can go in Graphite Modeling Tools and you can also toggle here and change these settings. You go into Properties and then into Hard, and then it's like this that these edges uh, are not smooth anymore around the corner, but th that they are just um, um, uh, hard corners, which is probably in uh, an architectural way quite, uh, uh, which uh, definitely makes sense. Okay, let's go some steps back. What you can also do is you can go into uh, polygons and just uh, select some polygons. For this I just go into my graphite modeling tools into selection and then I say uh, by half and I go uh, choose my uh, uh, x-axis and then I go into select and then just, uh, have, uh, just have chosen half of my polygons. I definitely can also do it with uh, the y, uh, y direction or the z direction which is quite, uh, quite handy. Okay, if I hold my shift key and go into the same uh, pattern uh, edge direction you can see what it does. It only has an impact onto my selection, but for this it's really important that you choose um, the shift key. And uh, what you can do is you can also combine uh, patterns. You can probably uh, combine it with uh, this guy. I hold my shift key and you can just see I can combine these kind of uh, patterns. And uh, now it's, it starts to distort a little bit. But uh, combining the, these uh, definitely makes sense because uh, you get a really, uh, really nice results out of this. And here you can already see it starts to uh, smooth again. And uh, if you uh, go again into modeling and into properties and choose hard, then you can see that it produces hard edges. And um, of course, then you can go again into insert and uh, insert by polygon and make a little bit of an inset here and delete this and you already have a nice uh, have a nice pattern. Okay, we switch this edit poly off again and I will add another edit poly and go again into my polygons, select all polygons and uh, here many other kind of uh, patterns which you can uh, uh, discover and they're all relate on uh, on my um, tessellation underneath if I have a 
smaller tessellation in a way uh, or different kind of dimensions it uh, immediately uh, has an impact on my um, my topology and again uh, I go into hard and then you can see that it is a nice uh, structure. Okay, there are some patterns or some topologies which are quite nice and uh, need a little bit more um, adjusting. It's especially this uh, brick topology and my um, uh, beehive topology and for this you have to select one edge I select one of these edges, I go into edge uh, mode important in my edit poly, this is otherwise doesn't work. I go to edge and we see if I go to brick that this still doesn't cause what I really want to do so we have to adjust one more thing and uh, we go into my front view, uh, sorry first we undo obviously our brick, uh, uh, brick topology um, and uh, we go into the front view F, press my F key, short key, and zoom extend, and uh, choose my object again, and I go into polygon, and I just delete the top and the bottom. Delete, and uh, this is what it looks right now. And if I now go again into edge, choose edge, and I go uh, to uh, the procedural topology bridge, and we can see that it just uh, does a nice uh, bridge structure and it really depends on what you uh, what you choose uh, it uh, defines the direction of my uh, of my brick the same you can do with this uh, beehive and uh, I just again uh, choose my uh, one corner uh, one edge and uh, here it causes a beehive and with this beehive again you have this uh, mesh smooth and if you go to hard then uh, you have uh, uh, non-smooth surfaces again. With uh, this graphite modeling tools you can do really fast sketches in terms of conceptual design for advanced shapes and uh, I'll just show you a quick example if I just have these uh, uh, ba uh, ba uh, basic uh, tessellation and I just choose for example these uh, uh, skin topology I again go into hard I just enter a new uh, edit poly go into poly and then s go into selection and probably say uh, choose by random and uh, here for example I go into uh, inset probably a better way even better way is I go into animate and into inset and here again by polygon and I can inset these I will add a modifier like uh, like a, a delete mesh modifier so these things are deleted I will de just add another edit poly I again go into polygons and then, then say again uh, a selection by uh, by random and probably now I go into 50% uh, and uh, say select and here probably I can again go into animate and then say I would like to extrude these guys and I can choose between by polygon uh, or by uh, by groups and you can see that it has a different kind of impact um, however uh, the advantage is I can now go again into my uh, animation I can go into a uh, polygon and uh, change my extrusion in this direction I can go into my uh, second edit poly which it makes sense to rename it I can go into my settings and uh, uh, change my inset and all these things uh, is based on my uh, is based on my graphite modeling tools there are also plugins to produce um, topologies and also um, for tessellation. Uh, one I would like to show you this is from ScriptSpot, uh, this uh, Vorofrag. You can download it, it's also for free, which is really, uh, really nice. You just have to install it and I'll just see, I uh, can show you what it does. 
uh, we start again with a simple box and it can uh, have uh, length, width and height in one direction. It actually doesn't matter but it looks a little bit better. And uh, if you have installed it then you can find under the modifier list uh, this modifier. It's called Vorofrag or Vorofrag. And what you can actually do with this, you can make Voronoi fragmentations and you just have to in uh, increase the number of these chunks and you can see what it already does. It causes these uh, Voronoi fractions which is uh, really nice and really fast. You can do a lot of things uh, with this kind of uh, um, a plugin. You can probably also uh, uh, say in the next step that you want to have gaps between these elements and now you can see that you can uh, uh, produce gaps or make it a little bit smaller in between. You can um, you can also say detach all, it uh, has to cake a little bit and then you have single uh, elements and uh, this is also a really nice way of uh, uh, producing patterns for your design.